So well, I'm like an hour out of Berlin right now. I'm out of breath because I was just running. I'm late. I'm going to pick up a bike and I'm late and I really want this bike and I don't speak German. I don't know if they're going to be pissed. You know, stereotypical Germans are very punctual. So I got to keep running and then uh, hopefully I'll show you my new bike. Today is Monday, the start of the week. Actually, my favorite day of the week. New goals board, very important to set your goals for the week and try to achieve those week to week and see progress week to week. Okay, I'm off to Beta House, and I was thinking this morning when I woke up, when this vlog gets to 1,000 subscribers, I am going to ask Beta House for free coffee every day, and because I've been promoting them so much. So, Beta House, I'm coming for you. I set weekly goals on this board here that are quite lofty and I rarely ever achieve all the goals that are listed on that board. It's hard because I think it's important you make lofty goals but they need to still be somewhat attainable. So I finished a few things on the goals board that I had last week but I didn't achieve some of them so that's all right. In any way, you need to set the bar high for yourself if you're going to see progress week to week. And so I think the weekly cadence is a strong cadence of seeing a lot of progress and you can package a lot of things into a week. I just use the notes app in Mac and I have bullets of the tactical things that I need to do on a daily basis to achieve those goals. So it's quite a simple process and just every minute of every day I'm working to achieve one of those tactical line items in the notes app that will work towards one of those goals. And that's basically how I work throughout my day. Funny story about goals actually. When I was in grade seven, I, I don't even think I knew what a goal was at the time, but um, I sat down with my dad and we listed out um, all the goals that I wanted to achieve in grade seven. And uh, he explained what a goal was and how to achieve them. And uh, I don't really remember what the goals were at the time, but probably like learn piano and get better at math, but I do remember this one thing. And at the end of the sheet of paper, he put a line that said, and he said, okay, now you have to sign this. And when you do, that means you have to achieve all these goals. It's a contract now. And so I thought to myself, wow. So I signed it and then I went into that year and I achieved all the goals on that list. So from since that day, setting goals and attaining them was just always something I've been fascinated by. So um, small, small lessons stick with you. Okay, still running. I'll stop so I can speak for a second and take a break. Still running, I just passed house 100 and I need to go to five. 20 minutes late. Okay, I just got here, catch my breath, go in, hopefully get a new bike. Check it out. This is like 1,000 times better than my old bike. Good things come to those who wait. 
I wasn't really waiting for a bike, but I like that statement anyways. But the guy was really nice, no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bike home now on this new ride I got. Found out from my telephone, I have a 10 kilometer bike ride to a train station and then we get on a train that goes back to Berlin. So I'm gonna put this camera away for a little bit and just hoof it to the train station. got to the train station. I'm still quite far out of Berlin. I have about 45 minute train ride in. Uh, I'm going to figure out where I have to go now with my new bike and uh, go back to Berlin. Okay, just got home. I will show you the bike for real. This is a black bike. Maybe I'll call it the Black Magic. 